I'm Andrew Miller. Uh, this is my wife, Laura, and we're going to pick up on the conversation we were having a little bit earlier uh, about tithing. So if we go back to the beginning, we can really look at what tithing is. And tithing is one of those old churchy words, but it literally means one-tenth of something. And so people have said tithing means giving a tenth of your income. And um, this was instituted in the Old Testament back in Genesis. Um, Abraham gave 10% of his income to a priest named Melchizedek, and that's where tithing got its start. But then God's people, um, Israel, they had to give of their income and of their livestock, of their produce, in order to sustain worship um, as God's people. And so... That was really the basis of tithing in the Old Testament, and then we yeah. carry over into the New Testament. Yeah, and when we look at the early church, it goes even further than that. And, and mm-hmm. in Acts, it talks about how everyone gave to each other as there was a need. So mm-hmm. that that's a really powerful picture for me of why we tithe. Tithing right. is just the beginning, I think. And I know there are a lot of obstacles in today's world uh, – you and I are experiencing what it's like to raise kids right now. Well, mm-hmm. a kid, another one coming. But it can be expensive. There are of, some. There are definitely some expenses involved in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you look at your. I look at the giving statement at the end of the year, and I see how much money we've given, and and instantly my mind goes to, well, goodness, that is enough money to do a lot of these other things that we're talking about wanting to do, but. Right. Really, it goes back to faithfulness, and God is faithful to us, and I think that um, the very least we can do is is give of right and 10%. it's a call it's a call to obedience when we follow the Lord. This is something that we're called to do. And so I just want to share from Malachi chapter three um, verses six through twelve and it's it's tied, this actually is titled Robbing God, so let's give you an idea. But For I, the Lord, do not change. Therefore, you, O children of Jacob, are not consumed. From the days of your fathers, you have turned aside from my statutes and have not kept them. Return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. But you say, how shall we return? Will man rob God? Yet you are robbing me. But you say, how have we robbed you? In your tithes and contributions, you are cursed with a curse, for you are robbing me, the whole nation of you. Bring the full tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and thereby put me to the test, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven for you and pour down for you a blessing until there is no more need. <laughs> 